Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Right, today I thought I'd bite the bullet and I'm going to try a bloom. I've never done one before, so it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. So I'm going to use alcohol inks. These are my colours. I've got yellow, I've got light blue and blue. Now for the white pigment, for the bloom, I'm actually going to use this. It's ocean white and it is to create waves and cells in seascape resin art. So it's not, I was going to use just my normal white paste, but I thought I'd try this and see how that turns out. Or maybe I'll put a bit of both, I'm not sure. So I've mixed up 100 mils of resin and I'm just waiting for that to just warm up a little bit. It's quite cold, it's only 20 degrees Celsius. So when that warms up a bit and thickens up a bit, we'll get started. Fingers crossed and it works. So I've got this thermometer, it's a meat thermometer, I just grabbed it out of my kitchen. Um, I'm just going to leave it in my craft room and no one's allowed to use that on meat anymore. I'll just have to buy another one. Um, so I'm just going to test the temperature of this resin. C2, C3, C4, I want it about, about 36 I think, by the time I pour it into this it's going to cool down when it hits these mats, these silicon moulds. Okay, so it's sitting around 34. It's going to wait a bit longer because it's still quite runny. I need it to be a bit thicker than that. So I'm worried that my white's just going to sink straight through if it's too runny. So I'll wait another five minutes or so. It's got a 30 minute working time. This this is the epoxy resin I'm using. It says fast cure on the front, but it says 24 hours on the back. <laughs> and um, I need the resin to be, like I said, a bit thicker. So I'm just going to wait and see if it thickens up when it warms up. There will be a tipping point where it's too much, but um, too much time, but we'll see how we go. Right, let's just test this again. Thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. Okay, so it's sitting around 34 and a half. Feels like it's starting to thicken. Give it a stir and it drops down to 33. Thirty-three is probably alright anyway. Okay, let's just do it. Thirty-three it is. 34, okay. I did want a little bit higher than that, but it's starting to thicken, so it's obviously starting to cure, so I better get cracking. So, pour a little bit into here. Give it that for one. That should be enough for two. Drop these out of the way for now. I'm going to try my ocean white and I don't want it opaque, I just want it light trim milk. So let's see how that goes.
that's not wide enough and then we'll drop It's a bit weak, I think. I'm gonna add one more. Okay, now divide this into these two here. got them coming up about two-thirds of the way up right so that it's not opaque but I wonder if that's not really white enough. Hmm. Um, it's a hard one, isn't it? Should we do one more? My tempting fate. Okay, I better not do any more. So I'll set that aside, let's do the alcohol dyes. So I've got yellow, light blue and blue. So let's start with the yellow in the centre. There's something in there. It's a good shake. So drop a yellow right in the centre. And I'll probably just bring you in closer. Okay, that's better. Right, light blue next. It's a good shake. So do one there. And there, and there, let's just do four. Okay, and the last one, which is the darker blue, this is quite strong, this one, so I don't know how much I've got in. Let's have a look. The colour, it's so vibrant, it's spilling out everywhere. Uh, let's go in between so one, two, three, four. Mmm. Okay, it'll do. I'm just going to wait till they stop moving. Yeah, this one here because it touched the side. Just keep stirring this up here.
Okay, it's mixed enough. Um, I might just move these colours around a little bit. And the opposite way is this one. Okay, let's do it. I think it stopped moving. Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> it's very squiggly. Looks like it's sunk. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Now I'm just going to manipulate these thick bits. Okay. Now, let's go to the centre. Not really liking how these alcohol inks have gone sort of separated. They almost, almost look powdery, you know what I mean? Let's go out as well. Let's wipe my little silicon brush in between each one. Just dragging it over the very surface, I'm not going down to the bottom. And I'm just going to wait for a while before I do the centre swirl. Let's do this one. Okay, now out. Right, what have we got? Let's do a little swirl in the middle, just a little one. Okay, right, is it blooming? 
It's moving here, I can see. I think it is. There's more white in certain areas. I've got no white here. That's okay. I'm not going to fiddle with it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay, guys. Um, fingers crossed. It will be a, su a success. <laughs> Although, mm, I don't know about those alcohol inks I used. Didn't spread like I, I thought they would. Just trying to pop any little random bubbles that are coming to the top. Okay. Bit of a mess to clean up. Let's leave that. I'll come back in half an hour. Oops, something floating in there. Little hair or something. Oh well, that'll be the back anyway. Um, yeah, I'll come back in half an hour and um, show you what it looks like. See if it's moved anymore. Okay. It's been five minutes and the white has travelled all the way. So I'm hopeful that it's going to be quite good. So it, it is blooming. So I'm really pleased about that. The centre, well this one has gone over this way. So I did check my level and it's supposed to be spot on. So I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Um, okay, right, I'll be back when these are cured and we'll flip them over and see what we have. Okay, the time has come. Which one first? So this is the one that went skew with. Let's try this one. Okay. The white is very light, but oh, I love how it bloomed. It worked. Oh, I love it. Yeah, so it's a bit whiter here, so it's going to look better, I think. Add more pigment, white pigment. So put on the black. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I'm happy with that one. Yeah, let's try the next one. Colours are a bit more intense on this one, so hopefully this is going to look even better. Um, very similar. Now, hmm, do I coat the back black or shall I? What, what do you think of the holographic glitter behind it? Oh, no, not the green. Um, I think I'll go with the holographics. Now, I've got something to show you guys. After I had done these, when they were curing, I looked at it and I thought, I did think the white is certainly not going to be strong enough. So... I did another one and I put a lot more pigment in there, the white pigment. And I thought I'd just risk it, see if it sunk or not. And if it was no good, I'd just throw it out. But I'm going to show it to you anyway. But it turned out great. And I did back it with the holographic. It's here. And this is it here. Let me show you what I got. How is that one compared? To that look that is amazing I was so pleased with it so I left it a lot longer it got up to 45 degrees Celsius and it was quite thick so when I did it I was really worried that it wasn't actually gonna move at all because it was so thick and hot but it did look at it I'm so happy with that I can't believe I got that. 
I'm addicted now. I'm going to try some more now, different colours. Anyway, what do you guys think? You like that one there? This is my favourite. These are nice. Um, just a bit more wispier, I suppose you'd call it. A bit more delicate. Which ones do you like? Do you like those ones or that one? I mean, that's more vibrant. That's I love that one. And I can see the glitter through the through the gaps. It looks like blue glitter shining through the um, transparent blue of the alcohol inks. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll um, coat these and I'll put some pictures up at the end with this one here. I've decided I'm gonna cover these the backs of these um, in black. Yeah, I was gonna do. Um, kind of graphic like this one here but I decided no I'll do black hoping that this white will stand out a bit better with the black background so I've mixed up I've got 50 mils there just gonna grab a bit of my pigment paste So I just wiped off the stick pretty much and left a tiny bit on the end. Now the other thing, I thought I'd put in some of this crushed crystal, diamond crystal, just to give it a tiny bit of sparkle, but I only need a little smidgen amount, so we'll just put maybe that much in. I don't know if be able to see it or not, but we'll give it a go. Oh yep, I can see a bit of a sparkle there. I think that's mixed properly. And it does have a little bit of a sparkle. Okay. Oh, that's paste. See on there? Uh, I'll just mix that in again. It's just stuck to the bottom of my stick. I don't want a blob of paste coming out. Hmm. Okay. Now there is a lip I can feel because of um, not filling the mould right up, you're left with this nice lip, so that makes it a lot easy. I better make sure they're around, right. yeah, they're around. I can feel that, yep. I don't know, so I think this side looks better, actually. Ugh, never mind. It is what it is, let's just do it. Stop mucking around. Woody, what are you doing in here? Out you go. Good boy. 
the dog knows how to open the door. Okay, get my little silicone brush. Whoa, this is on a hell of an angle, isn't it? This leveling table I got, um, <clears throat> the bubble in the middle isn't actually in the middle. It's to the side, so I can't go by that. It's always wrong, so I have to use my own level, which is okay, but I'll just check it because it's all going to one side. Mm, I could actually adjust it a tiny bit. I'll do this first and then I'll fiddle with it. Okay. See heaps of little bubbles on top. Not too concerned actually what's on top because I'm going to put cork on the back of these anyway. <clears throat> but does that look okay? I think it's all even. Alright, I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to go get my alcohol because I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to look for it. Go to spray and then I'll show you what they look like when they're cured. Hopefully, it makes a bit of a difference when the white stands out more, maybe. Was it? We will see. Okay. See you soon. Okay, I cover them in black. Let's see how they look. Um, they look okay. Very, very fine. Um, just wondering if I should have done a different colour. What do you guys reckon about the black? What colour would you have... Um, put in there to make the colours pop a bit more. The blues and everything have sort of disappeared with that black behind. But yeah, so that's it there. Um, there's a, a lot of little tiny pinpricks from the bubbles. So I'm going to give that a top coat and um, be done with it. Put some cork on the back probably. But anyway, that's how they turned out. Um, I'm going to try this again. And I'm going to try and put more of the white pigment in so it stands out a bit better. Okay guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.